All right, what's up guys, we're back. Um, it's been a long break, but I'm happy to be here and happy to be filming again. Um, I was just in Spain a couple of weeks ago and it kind of reignited something in me and um, I'm ready to, to get going now. So we're gonna be doing daily stuff. Um, today's a daily vlog and in the future we're gonna be doing travel videos. Um, so I'm excited, I'm excited for you guys to join me. Okay, so first of all, obviously we have breakfast in the morning. Normally I go to the gym fasted with just a black coffee, but obviously we're going to London today. So <clears throat> there's a couple complications. So we're just gonna have breakfast today. Um, normally I have six eggs, three pitters, pretty healthy. I'll, I'll get into my diet a bit more as the video goes on as we're cooking the breakfast. But um, yeah, normally six eggs, three pitters. All right guys, so first of all, six eggs, well, before the eggs, organic extra virgin olive oil every time, very healthy. So, and this is, this is good for you, so you can douse it a lot, it's, it's not too bad. I cook it quite low for eggs, otherwise they get burnt. All right, so I'll just let this warm up. And this is like, this is gonna take like a minute, so. <laughs> every time I crack eggs, I always get the shell in, but, um, Let's, let's see if I can do it perfectly now. That was actually a pretty good one. But um, the reason why I eat eggs every morning is because they're just such, I think they're literally the best form of protein with steak. Like, I think you can't even compare eggs with like protein powder. Like, I think eggs build muscle faster. Like, I'm not even joking. I'm pretty sure that's literally scientifically backed. And the, the protein is just way better. We've actually done quite well with it, actually. Okay, so you guys have probably been wondering where I've been. That's probably the main question everyone has right now. To answer that, so if you've been following my Instagram, I've been traveling around the world solo quite a lot. So I was in Japan, I went to Osaka, Kyoto, Tokyo. I was in Greece, went to Mykonos, Santorini, Athens. I was just in Spain, Cartagena, I think is how you pronounce it. That wasn't so much solo, that was for a conference for Capital Club, that was actually very good. Um, maybe I'll talk about that another day. Um, should actually have a podcast coming soon from there, so you know, stay tuned for that. Yeah, I've been traveling around the world. Um, I don't want to sound like too like spiritual, but just like self-discovery, right? Um, I think I've been doing that for a while now, but like for the past six, six or twelve months, I've been taking it like pretty seriously, um, <clears throat> which is another kind of reason why I got into fitness so much. Um, you know, I, I think that's that's helped me a lot. But yeah, just figuring out what I want to do next, right? And fig figuring out like what my purpose is and what what really you know fulfills me. So I think now it's kind of been a good influence on you guys and traveling around and just filming it. So I'm gonna solo travel regardless because I just love it. So I think now I'm gonna try just filming it wherever I go um, and take you guys along with me. I wanna do some like casual stuff as well. Like today we're gonna go to London, um, you know, do some pretty casual stuff, some fun stuff, but you know, not too crazy, not going to China or Japan, but um, in the future, not too far future. I want to start just traveling around the world and film it and maybe you know we'll do a series around europe around asia and um yeah we'll see how that goes okay so breakfast is done um we're gonna go to london go gym i've got an appointment at louis vuitton to get some stuff tailored as well as laura piana what was the total sorry Four five seven. Four five seven. all right guys so we're on the way to the gym right now um just past mayfair so just to elaborate on kind of what I've been doing. Um, like I said, I've been on kind of the self-improvement route, um, but just kind of in a bit more detail. So yeah, I've been working out for like a year and a half. I go running um, multiple times a week, sauna every day. I've got something interesting coming actually, which I was hoping to get for this video, but we'll leave it at a later date. Um, it'll be a cool, cool type of video to film with that. Um, but yeah, sauna every day, running every, like every other day, gym basically every day, like uh, one rest day a week. Um, and yeah, reading actually, yeah, I've started quite recently. Um, for the past couple of months, I read a lot now. I've got a set amount of time I read a day, every single day, no matter what. Um, so yeah, mainly those things. Um, but yeah, we're about to be in the gym and um, see you guys in there. What's up guys? So finally, we're here in the gym. Um, I've been waiting to do this for a while now. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this. So I'm gonna be filming my gym session today, push day. Um, I might, instead of shoulders, do some arms instead, just because I feel like it's more fun to film arms and shoulders. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys my routine, you know, what I've learned over the past year and a half, how I've developed my, my physique. And um, yeah, so first, we warm up with some lightweight, because I don't know if you guys saw, but I got injured a while ago and it took me out for about three months. And I think it was just due to not warming up. 
So, yeah, first of all, flat bench, little warm up, I normally do. Just nine quick, easy reps, get the blood flowing. Muscles warmed up, so no injuries today. Right, so this gym doesn't go up to what I normally use. I normally use 32 kg for flat bench, which is like around 80 pounds, I think, but they go up to 30 here. So <sighs> I wanna take the, the, the pump cover off once I get a, a bit of a pump. So let me make sure I don't just fall back and die here. Okay, so normally I do three sets of everything. So I'll do a warm up set and then three sets. I do that for basic everything, except for like mundane stuff like shoulders, I don't really warm up. But for this, I definitely do, because it's quite a lot of weight. Normally I do 32 for like six to eight reps. So we'll see, we'll see how we do, get on with these 30s. We should be able to do it a bit more. And remember, the last rep is where the most muscle was built, so. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> nice, good first, first set. So we'll do one more, then I think we'll take the pump cover off. I haven't took my shelf in a gym, because in my public gym, you're not allowed to do that, so I'm actually interested to see what it's like to work out without the pump cover. But yeah, we'll take a little break, then we'll get into the second one. Um, I do two tricep exercises, so the first one is overhead skull crushes while I'm down, and the second one will be ropes, but we'll get into that after. <clears throat> Let's see if they hit the back. So you don't want to put your arms all the way at the top, you want to slightly arch them back. Yeah, it's fine. So that you've always got tension on your tricep. Slowly, just lower it. I said, don't go too heavy, and don't injure yourself. All right, guys, now onto the last class of exercise. So we're done. Flat chest, incline chest, skull crushes. Yeah, so I'll do this for, you know, like everything else, three sets. Um, for this, I recommend you know, keeping your, your elbows quite tucked in. If you don't want to be moving your elbows while doing this, you want to be fully just only doing your tricep and make sure to try and really stretch at the bottom, just pull outwards, so that the tricep is really getting stretching. All right, so on to biceps. Um, I do both cable biceps, I don't use any dumbbells. Um, the reason for that is just to keep tension while it goes down as well. So I do, normally I do like a, you know, the bar in the gym, they don't have it here, but normally I have a bar, just a flat bar, and I just do my curls, and then I do rope hammer curls, which we'll do after. This, I've never used this attachment before, so um, I actually don't even know if this is for biceps, I'm pretty sure it is, right? Because I can't imagine anything else you do with this, maybe triceps, push down, but. <laughs> Right, <laughs> as you can see, as soon as we left the gym, just as we started to leave, it just started pissing down with rain. And I want the camera guy to zoom in on like literally how deep this has penetrated. You could see my, my hairs <laughs> through my, my chinos. And like, I don't even want to talk about how expensive this combo is right here, but this has just been drenched. So we was going to go shopping anyway, but now we've got even more of a reason to go because um, this is just ruined, basically. <laughs> this is fully drenched, I'm fully drenched. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's just ridiculous. Like, it, it's the UK weather. Yeah, we'll probably go, go now and uh, we'll see what we can buy. We're about to go to Laura Piana, get this tailored and some other stuff I've got from there tailored. Um, 
after that, Louis Vuitton, we had to do a change in trousers because, like you've seen before, the rain just completely drenched the other ones. So, um, unfortunately, I can't get these tailored today, so they're quite long, but I've got another pair that we're going to get tailored. Um, say hi to the vlog. Vlog, hi. <laughs> hi, guys. Oh, Mongrel's back, mate. <laughs> All right, let's get this photo. Yeah, thank you. Hello. Um, I called up recently. I got this about... Uh, I don't know, seven months ago in January. Yeah. I want to get it tailored. Okay. Yeah, 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 sure, yeah. So yeah, this. Looks, uh, yeah, the sleeves, uh, everything else, I think is fine. This one is something you you don't want to tie. Yeah. Because it's a being set for. Just to let you know, it's at ninety pounds with the short and sleeve. Yeah. And then we charge also for the short and trousers. Yeah, sure. And we can do it in roughly four days or between four and five days. What do you think? Do you like the trousers which are be short and you know this, this one is really depends on, on you. I like uh, quite short. Yeah I think a tiny bit shorter maybe. Yeah. I think this is good. Yeah. Yeah. The 675. Okay. I'm trying to think what can I pair green with like <laughs> Will I be able to collect the trousers, the jacket, and like both jackets all at once? Okay, yeah, per yeah, perfect. Let me see if I can do it on this. If not, I'll just use my other card. Oh, okay, nice. What was the total? Sorry. Four five seven. Four five seventy. Louis Vuitton. Um, get my trousers I have here tailored. We were supposed to be getting these tailored as well, but as you know, we ran into problems with the rain. So, yeah, we'll get these tailored. We uh, got that jacket and wore a piano. That was very nice. Um, yeah, get this done and then we'll go get some food. Nice place to put the watches. <laughs> I think like a tiny bit shorter maybe, like a little bit shorter. This is tailored, get this done. Should be um, arriving in a few days. Look at the difference by the way. Like it's, it's so much better when, when you get stuff tailored. It doesn't have to be an expensive one as well. You can just buy plain, jeans or plain chinos, get them tailored for uh, 15, 20 pounds at a local store. It's basically the same thing. Hi guys, um, we put the stuff back in the car. So we got the trousers tailored at Louis Vuitton and the jacket I got at uh, Laura Piana. I know, some trousers I've got tailored at Laura Piana. Um, the jacket is gonna be tailored and I'll receive it within the next week, so. That's going to be fun to pick up. Right now, I'm going to take you to my favorite Japanese restaurant in Mayfair. Don't all come stealing, come into my, my place because it's going to be too booked. Um, but they do very good food here, so you know, I'll take you along and show you some nice places. And um, maybe Japan has some connotation with some future content, so stick around and we'll see. All right, so we're here. Eat Tokyo. Let's go in, get some ramen, maybe some mochi after. Let's go. So yeah, we just arrived here. Um, got my favorite dish, tonkatsu ramen. Um, Kind of gives me, you know, a reminiscence of when I was in Japan, when I went to a local ramen shop, it was very nice. So it's nice to come here, sit down and um, have some food that reminds me of that. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Um, it's very interesting filming today. We've done a lot of good stuff. I think the video turned out very well. I'm very happy with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what you want to see next. Like I said, I've got some stuff planned, so I think it's going to go well. But if you've got anything you want to see me do, let me know. Um, yeah, it was a great day and 